okay uh, this is lesson number eight um, in this lesson we're going to talk about variable types operators and expressions so uh, as I had promised I'm going to talk a bit about uh, theory of uh, C programming um, also uh, and uh, I'm going to do write a lot of programs in front of you to see uh, and get a feel of um, how to write a program okay uh, okay let's start uh, from uh, variables okay uh, till now in all of my programs I have never told how to, how to declare a variable we have declared a lot of variables from really small variables uh, from I just I just C to uh, a bit more uh, bigger variables like number underscore characters number underscore repetition or something like that okay so let me just define all the rules of, uh, of uh, declaring a variable uh, all names uh, all variable all names of variables should consist either of characters or letters digits and letters and underscore and the variable name should begin with a letter or an underscore you can't begin a variable name with uh, a number with a digit so you can't say 1a or 2b these sort of variable names not an uh, are unacceptable and uh, you know, and it's also advisable for you know uh, if you want to declare common variables do not use uh, do not start with an underscore because variables starting with underscore uh, are usually defined in uh, header files uh, so let's uh, follow that convention and if you want to declare a variable with starting with an underscore uh, it should be in a header file okay and how long can be very uh, be variable names for internal variable names uh, first 31 characters are significant that means you can have variables greater than 31 uh, 31 characters but uh, the first 31 characters uh, will be significant throughout the program okay but uh, another uh, condition for uh, variables when you want to declare uh, external variables uh, is that uh, when you have to declare external variables uh, you need to make sure that uh, you need to keep in mind that um, less than 31 characters are significant uh, not all 31 characters are significant on very few of the uh, first uh, char characters will be significant because these will be used in uh, assemblers and uh, loaders as well okay so that's kind of, kind of a restriction that uh, you have in variable names uh, another thing about variables is uh, all the reserved words of C like if else while main these cannot be used as variables however they, they can be part of variable names for example I can use if one while two so, you know uh, those sort of things can be used uh, in variable names but exactly the reserved words cannot be used in uh, variable names and in C uh, the lowercase alphabets and uppercase alphabets are different that means a variable A in lowercase is different from variable A in uppercase okay so you can have two variables both are A but one is lowercase the other is low, uh, uppercase another thing you need to observe when uh, C is you for all your common variables uh, use lowercase okay and for uh, variables which are symbolic constants that means you use it for hash define or something use uppercase all uppercase okay but however you can use a combination of upper and lowercase and underscore uh, to declare uh, longer variables okay uh, to which have meaning which have a good meaning in the program now uh, let's talk about the different uh, variable types the different types of variables that can exist uh, see in C programming right there are only four basic types of variables they are int char float and double okay uh, what int is uh, all your integer uh, integers you can store an int that means all your numbers from 1 to 100 200 or whatever whatever the range of intels which I'll talk about later those can be stored in int uh, for character uh, there are basically 256 characters defined in NC those uh, can be stored in character so if you want to store a single character uh, a letter you can use char 
okay when do you use float float we use uh, to uh, declare numbers with decimal points 1.00 1.01 1 those sort of numbers the difference double is also used for the same thing the difference is that for uh, you can use uh, you can show much larger and higher precision numbers in double okay so and what are qualifiers qualifiers are not exact not variables themselves but can be used in conjunction with variables okay what is signed and unsigned is basically uh, signed is to uh, represent negative numbers and unsigned means it doesn't represent negative numbers. short and long as the name suggests is shorter form of the same variable longer form of the same variable you need, to you need to keep in mind that signed and unsigned can be used with int and char but uh, short and long uh, can be used only with int but when you use it with int you don't use int at all <laughs> that means you just say short and long okay and you can use signed and unsigned along with short and long okay so here i have defined all the variables that you can de declare okay so you can declare int is the same if same as signed int because when you declare int it says says signed int and unsigned int you represent only positive numbers and short uh, short is short sign short and sign short long unsigned long unsigned sign long and unsigned long okay few thing is that uh, the size of a short the size of a variable in short um, cannot be more than the size of a variable in int and the same as it when the size of a variable in int cannot be uh, bigger than the size of long in any platform however how how much the size of each int short and long how many bytes long uh, it is is decided by individual platforms i'll just show you what my platform has decided for it okay and character is usually always one byte okay for when you say signed car uh, it is minus 127 plus 128 okay and unsigned car is 0 to 256 and i think that's that's a bit constant with everywhere and uh, float double and long double float is again for decimal numbers long is double position decimal numbers and long double is much bigger <laughs> decimal numbers it's floating point numbers okay and um, okay one more thing when i say uh, sign carrots from minus uh, 128 to plus 127 i think i told it as minus uh, 127 to plus 128 it's actually minus 128 to plus 127 okay and these are all the uh, you know variables that can uh, you declare in c these are all the variables uh, you can declare in c now uh, i just written a small program to find out uh, the size of all the variables and the minimum and maximum range of the variables okay so let's just uh, go through that So this is the program. Um, basically, what it does is it. Uh, the most important part is the printf uh, statements. Okay, there's an operator in C, you know, size of, that will give you the size of in bytes of any data type. Okay, you uh, you put it as a this one. So, and um, there's a. Uh, header file limits dot h which, which uh, you know declares the limits which stays the limits of all uh, the data types for example uh, it says int min to be what is the minimum range of int and uh, int max to be maximum range of int the same is with uh, unsigned int short unsigned short uh, unsigned and char and unsigned char okay so this is what uh, it is with uh, different data types okay so okay i think i had really missed a uh, long <laughs> a big mistake on my part uh, i understand that you know uh, big part of some part of the programs are not visible uh, but uh, what is what needs to be visible is all the print of statements and i think uh, that's visible so let's just execute the program okay and um, we'll see okay so i think the program is executed so let me execute it again so as you see okay here it is uh you know for the int it is four unsigned int is also four bytes long okay and then this is the range minimum and the maximum range so as you see the long uh, and uh, the int is of the same size in my platform and short is uh half the long and the character is always uh, one byte 
okay and um, more of it in the next lesson